Hey everyone, I'm Laura, your wine girl, and I am today talking about resident wine. I don't know if you've tried this one yet, I really like it. So I am a really red wine drinker. I'm a serious red wine drinker, and um, so I am very picky. So if I like it, you know it's good, I'll tell you if it's not. This is from Scout and Cellar, and I will put the link below to buy it if you have never heard of them before. The great thing about them is that it is a very clean, crafted wine. All of their wines um, are organic, they don't have any pesticides, they have very low sulfites, there is no added sugar. No added sugar. So this makes it a really great diet-friendly kind of wine uh, without losing any of the great taste. Because really the sugar doesn't really make it taste that much better. And the high sulfates, they just give you headaches and make you feel really crappy the next day. So this is a resident red wine blend from Mendocino, California. This is a 2017. I just came back from Mendocino. It is amazing. And I was so excited to try this. So this wine, I would say it's very easy to drink. And what does that mean? It means even if you're not really a red wine drinker, or if you're a hardcore red, red wine drinker like me, you I haven't even started drinking yet, you will like this wine. It is very smooth going down and is very easy. It doesn't have a funky taste. There's nothing um, distracting about this wine where it's like, eh, I don't know. You're going to drink it and you're, you don't have to decide. You're just going to like it. I didn't have to let it sit to open up. I always like that because when I come home from work, I really cannot sit for like an hour trying to um, drink some wine and wait for it to open up. You can see it has a nice dark color. Doesn't have too, too much of a base to make it that really heavy like a cab that a lot of people don't really love. And this is also from a vineyard that is a family run vineyard that is 30 years old. So you're getting a lot of quality by people who really know what they're doing. And the first time I tried this, uh, I had, I automatically had the cherry. Like, that was great. And I can't say I'm like the biggest, I can pick out every single little spice and whatever. But I did pick out cherry and I was like, ooh, this is really nice. I love cherries. <laughs> and then it had some blackberry and some spice going on there and white pepper. And so it just really like full, but not that heaviness that a lot of people who are not hardcore red wine drinkers like. Um, so this is definitely in the medium range for me anyway and my taste buds. And it's not too sugary and fruity, not too, too fruity, um, because it does have some spice to balance it. And that's one thing, I, I, this wine, that's the best word I can think to describe resident, uh, the 2017 red wine. I would say it is balanced. And for me, I really like that. When I drink it, yeah, every, every sip, every glass has been better and actually, um, I'm loving it. <laughs> so check out Resident. And uh, let me tell you, like I said, even if you're not a really big red wine drinker, this is a red wine you will like and all your guests will like. It's a very safe bottle to open up for if you're having a dinner party or if you're having a barbecue, it goes great with meats. Uh, even in the summertime, because it doesn't have that like heavy base, this is going to be perfect for that. Everybody's going to love it. So let me tell you, let's get to drinking. And remember, I am Laura, your wine girl. If you have any questions about this, just give me a call and right below, I will have the link for you to buy your wine. Any wine that you buy from my link, you will get a free gift from me personally while supplies last. So hurry up people, get to drinking, enjoy.